Hello and welcome to Unleashed. My name is Robert Forto. Follow us on the trail as I train up here in Alaska for the 2013 Iditarod. As we draw to the conclusion of this year's Iditarod, I've been getting a lot of comments on my social media accounts asking what do sled dogs eat? Some call it soup, some call it stew, I call it gruel. While I have not run the Iditarod, I am working with a kennel of dogs where we do run long distance, the serum run in particular. The key to the success of any dog team is how well these four-legged athletes eat. Every musher has their own secret formula, amount, time of day, and process down to a near science. Let me break this down into a couple of different segments, sort of like a recipe. We are feeding 50 dogs twice a day and using three five-gallon buckets like you would buy at the local big box hardware store. A sled dog on a long distance race can consume up to 10,000 calories a day. Think about how much that is. A human diet contains approximately 2,500 calories daily, so a sled dog would need to consume four times that amount. How we deliver those calories is what makes feeding a sled dog an art form. Ingredients. In our buckets we feed a variation based on the activity level and more importantly the temperature. Every morning one of the first things that we do is look at an outdoor thermometer. If it's above 20 degrees Fahrenheit we do not add fat to the buckets. Five gallon buckets are filled a little less than three quarters full with hot water. The next meal is prepared as soon as the previous is completed. The hot water will allow the frozen meat to thaw over the next 9 to 12 hours. We add a large chunk of meat, approximately 10 to 15 pounds. Two coffee cans of dry kibble are added. We use a premium brand of dry kibble that most of the top distance kennels are using during training and on races. A chunk of fat is then added, approximately 5 to 7 pounds. When you feed your sled dogs, it's just as important to what you are feeding them. You do not want to feed your sled dogs at the exact same time every day. This develops a routine for the dogs, and when you are training on long runs away from home, camping, and or races, your dog is expected to eat whenever you feed them. Just like us, the amount of food a sled dog eats is in direct proportion to the activity level they are involved in. A sled dog is encouraged from as soon as they are eating solid foods to eat as much and as fast as they possibly can. Typically, a sled dog will devour a bowl of food in less than 30 seconds. A finicky or slow eater is the first sign of trouble in a sled dog. A musher watches his dog's eating habits very closely and is a good measure on how the status of his team is performing on the trail. We feed each dog a ladle of soup of about three cups during each feeding. Of course, bigger dogs get a little less, while smaller or skinnier dogs get a little more. Many mushers will feed a dog as much as they can possibly eat in about 40 seconds, no matter how much it is. Snacks are a very important portion of a sled dog's diet. We feed snacks along the trail during long runs and on races. We snack slices of meat, the same meat that we use in the buckets, in about a 6 ounce cut. We also feed salmon and other fish as well as fat. On the trail, we stop and snack the dogs about every two hours or so. Fat. Fat is a key ingredient to a sled dog's diet and where most of the calories are derived. As I said before, fat is added depending on the activity level of the dogs and the temperature. Water. The only water that our dogs get during the training and racing season is the amount of water that is included in their meal. While this may sound different than what your pet dog gets, it is different with sled dogs. Remember that the meat that we are feeding is composed of quite a bit of moisture, and all of the dogs dip snow along the trail to get a quick drink. Let's discuss other ingredients. Many mushers will add a variety of things into their buckets. Everything from moose to beaver to chicken. 